Greetings and welcome back to Monster Legends. All right, so the Dwarves Mine Maze is gone and we have a race. Okay, we also have the uh, Summer Breeding event, which was started in the last one. The reason I mention that is because you might notice there's an individual sitting in my hatchery right over there. I did get lucky. I did get the individual I want. It was the only legendary I want, got. Uh, I actually tried for another one afterwards, and it didn't work. And, of course, the temple is now, the boost for the temple is now gone, so the times have increased for uh, breeding. So that's pretty much it. But you know what? I got what I wanted. I got what I wanted. You know, I didn't have him. I figure he's going to be useful in certain situations. And, um, well, you know what? It was successful, so I can't really complain. You know, would I have liked to have gotten a couple of them? Sure. But you know what? I didn't have him. I have him now. You can also see uh, Gorg is sitting there on the top. I actually just got him out of there a little while ago. I didn't want to tie up my hatchery because we do have a uh, race going right now. And um, breedings and hatchings are definitely part of it. So, But the thing is, I figured the eggnog down there at the bottom is... Less, a little over an hour left, and if I needed to, if I really needed the spot, I could I could spend the gems and free it up. So uh, I don't really think it's that big of a deal. And besides, T Shire is not too far behind him anyway. Before we take a look at the race, let's look at the individual at the center of the race. Okay, so we have the Hive Hunters Grand Prix, and at the center of that race is Wasper. He's a magical attacker and trait remover. Okay, that's always ugly. His main skills include trait disables. He can boost himself with positive stats effects and shields. His trait is he's hardened and he begins every battle with evasion. All right. So I'm not sure. Does that mean he I says he's an attacker? So I'm guessing that he's an attacker. It doesn't say anything about dots or anything like that. It says basically boosting himself. So I'm guessing that he's just going to do a lot of damage. But the evasion at the beginning of the fight is kind of interesting. It certainly protects him, and he is a damage dealer, so you don't want anybody attacking him in the beginning. So that's kind of interesting, so we'll see how he works out. Uh, there is one other thing, which for me personally is very annoying. All right. And uh, they're going to be doing special team wars. So as this limited book is about to be going away fairly soon, they're going to do a war with two for each battle. Yeah, this is a big problem for me because I have two legendaries who are leveled up for that book. A lot of them are 60 for me because I haven't leveled them up. So this is going to be a kind of a problem. So I'm probably going to be putting uh, epics in those spare spots. Yeah, at least in terms of the video, I'll probably go with full teams for the rest of it. Uh, the two individuals, of course, are Maquis de Flamme and um, Shade Moon. Uh, other than that, everybody else is 60 or is an epic. Uh, Salamander falls into that category. And uh, what was her name again? Hold on a minute. Let's go over there for a second. I keep forgetting her name. Oh, Bonnie Bark. That's it. Yeah, other than those two, um, nothing else there I would use. And like I said, uh, I got Marquis de Flamme. And then, of course, Shade Moon. Everybody else, you know, Bell Breath and Dunra. Actually, yeah, Dunra is in the book, too. So And uh, Tritapag, uh, they're all 60, unfortunately. So that puts me in a diminished situation. So unless we run into a team that has major difficulties in the same manner, uh, that's going to be a problem. So that extra legendary slot is going to be very, very important. I can see Dave jumping into one of those, just to make sure, you know? And maybe, actually, I'm thinking maybe Elvira for the other one. Uh, because if I can get Bonnie Bark to use her her skill, which, of course, is very good, uh, that might actually be very useful, as long as the other is a damage dealer. All right, we'll have to see about that. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work out too good for me. That's all. Anyway, um, speaking of the race, let's go over there and see how this is going. All right, as mentioned, this is the Hive Hunters Grand Prix. And at the middle, we have Wasper. Oh, this just did this now, didn't it? Uh, contribute as much as they can. First member, first member to feed monsters. Oh, okay. Okay, just thought I'd take care of that. Since it was available, right? Uh, the rest of them are going to take time, so that's not something that's very pressing. All right, like I was saying, Wasper. Let's take a look at Wasper. We already uh, looked. We already looked at a little bit of a blurb on him here, but let's look at him. He, of course, is a legendary. He's magic. He's got wings. A lot of them. 
Um, he's evil legions. Well, just look at him. Yeah, I mean, he's pretty evil, right? And he's so evil, he's also a villain. All right, so he's got the, uh, the sword, and he's got the shield one. That's interesting. He's an attacker, and he's got the shield relic. That's kind of interesting. And he evades, and he can also shield himself. Okay. All right, so anyway, he is the center, and of course, whether or not your team gets him or not is completely in your power. If your team really wants him, then you're not competing with anybody in terms of that. So let's just take a look at the rewards, right? All right, let's go to the bottom. All right, now, in order to get anything from this event, your team has to complete four laps, right? You have a week, a week from the beginning of this, right? You have to complete four laps. If you complete four laps and you do not complete eight laps, you or your team will get Haku. Okay, you're going to get him. Uh, that's kind of a very serious booby prize, by the way. Now, if your team was to complete eight laps but not get to ten laps, you will get Sparkling Mantis. I don't have him. I have no idea if he's good or not. I know I don't see him very often, so judge that as you will. Now, if your team reaches 10 laps, but does not get to lap 14, you will get, of course, Wasper, not ranked up, maximum level 100. If your team reaches level, pardon me, lap 14, if you complete 14 laps, and you do not get to 18, you will get Wasper, ranked up once, so you will get him to 105. And the same thing with 18, you get him to 18, you get him ranked up twice, you get 110, if you get to 25, you complete 25 laps, then you'll get him ranked up four times, three times, isn't it? Three times, isn't it? And you get him to uh, 115. If you get all the way to 50, you, know, you get ranked up four times, you can raise him up to 120. And I think at that point, you're also given the opportunity to buy cells so you could get him higher if you wanted to. All right, so those are the team awards. Uh, you are not competing with other teams in terms of that. Your team has to complete the laps to get him. If you get to lap 10, if you complete lap 10, this is completing laps, right? If you complete lap 10, your team is going to get him. So after that, you know, it's a matter of how many laps you have to complete. Now, in terms of, I believe the individual rewards are in terms of your team and the placement. And I do believe, once again, your team has to actually qualify in order to get these. I might be wrong, but your team has to qualify. All right, so this is, you know, for the first place and the third place, you can see it's marking fourth because currently I'm in fourth place on my team. So you get some food, you get some extra cells of him, and you get a relic chest, right? Uh, position rewards, I believe this is for the teams now. If your team finishes in a certain place, you're going to get extra rewards. This is really the only competition inside of your little group of 20 teams. We'll look at that for a moment. Uh, but the thing is, this is the competition. The team in first place is going to get 50 Elementium and 40 Magic Cells. From that point on, it's kind of going to go down a bit. And you might get some more of this guy here. In this case, you'll get him ranked up if you're in the 4 to 6 area. But obviously, the Elementium and the um, Magic Cells are kind of useful. Uh, of course, there is a greater competition. We'll look at that in a moment. But those are for like the real big guys way at the top. Now, in order to complete a lap, of course, let's uh, go back for a moment. In order to complete a lap, you have to do these little quests on the side. Three have to be completed in order to get to the next three. So if there's one down there that you're stuck on, your team's not going anywhere until you complete that. Yeah, the middle one is really annoying. That is the third one we've seen of that in terms of like 15 members have to do this very simple thing. That is really annoying because the thing is you have to have 15 team members. Half of your team has to have been able to log in to do that. And it's not a tough task, that one. It's just annoying, especially like at the moment, it's middle of the day. Maybe people are at work, maybe people in school and they can't go to their device. The other ones, like look at the first one that I just did. I was able to do that one by myself. Technically speaking, a couple of people could do the one at the bottom. I mean, really one person could do it if he was really crazy about it, had a lot of cells for common creatures. But I mean, a couple of people could do that. The middle one, you need 15 people to do that. And when you see that skip 10 gems, that's for one. So if you had one person who wanted to finish that, assuming the skip number didn't go up, it probably does, but it'd be 140 gems for something that people just log in. That's the reason if you're on a team, log in a lot during the day. 
Because right there, obviously collecting 25, I could hit one button and that's it. Which reminds me, if you're doing these events, and of course anybody who's in a team should be, you should have your farms with your biggest food sitting on top waiting. You should also try to allow your habitats to build up the money and don't gather it. Yeah, they've added a new gather button at the bottom, if you didn't see it on the, on the starting page, where you can gather everything. Stay away from that. Just stay away from that. Because um, for these, you want the individual updates. You want to grab the food. You don't, I mean, and the money. You just, you want to do that for the updates. Because see that one at the top right there? You have to feed your month. That was kind of an easy one to do. I had a little epic who was like 10th level. I just fed him all the way up to 90, and that did the job. If you get one of those, one, like the entire team must collect like a billion gold or something like that. Well, just grab all of your stuff right there. You must collect. There was an earlier one. Um, one member must gather, was it 300,000 food? I just typed three of my farms and it was done. That's all. That's the reason I probably have a better uh, skill, a better rating than I should. So let's take a look. All right, so you can see where I am right now. You can see the, the team. And I'm just going to do this because, let's face it, most people aren't really qualified at the moment. But the thing is, you're really counting on people to come in. See, that 14, that 14 is probably they went in and did one part of those 15 people must do this. So you really have to get in there a lot during the day if you're one of these teams and just check to see if your team is waiting for you, you know? I mean, the big guys can't do the work of the, the you know, the other stuff here, you know, maybe like, you know, breeding, uh, le uh, le not legendaries, actually I think there is one later on, but breeding epics and stuff like that, they can't do it if they're waiting for that 15 people must do this, you know. Really, it's kind of annoying when it's sitting there because you're getting held back. As I said, this is the third one we've seen, third one I've seen, the third one I've seen today, and they're really slowing us down. I mean, we are way down here at the moment because we keep getting stuck on that. The other ones keep getting closed out pretty quickly, but... You know, the thing about it is we're waiting for 15 people to come in. So that's kind of a, a thing, right? So if you're on a team, just jump in there every day, look at that. You know, a couple of times a day, I should say, not every day. I hope you're looking at every day. Go in every, uh, a couple of times a day, just check to see if your team is waiting because nobody wants to spend gems on those. There's better places to spend gems in order to move this event along because your team does want this guy, right? I mean, I have no idea if he is really overpowered. He looks like he's got some interesting stuff with him, the trait disabling and starting with evade. But I mean, rest of his skills could be terrible. I have no idea. I haven't looked it up. I'd rather get him and then rank him up and then see then. That's just the way I am. Uh, if it really means something to you, you can go to the wiki and check out his skills. They're usually there. All right, so that's going on now. That's going to go on for a week. I don't know if anything else is going to slip in in the meantime. Oh, it's this way. And you can see I'm trying to leave all of my gold there. And where is it? Over here. And I'm, I got all my farms up there. The most of them are all 100,000. So just sitting there waiting there. Okay, uh, that reminds me. Here, just grab him. Nobody you know. And I can actually extract somebody else now, too. Where was... Because the guy that I just fed up, I think it was him. No, actually, it was him. There we go. Right, because I just, I literally just fed him up in order to advance it. Okay, so that's that. Uh, we have the race going. The, that breeding event, there's still a, I think there's still a little bit of it left there. Hold it a minute. This was the spring breeding event. We talked about that the last time. There it is right there. Uh, that still has a day and a half left on it. But I'm, I'm pretty much done. I was trying that second combo, but I got a, um, I got a, I got an epic. And of course now, the uh, temple buff is now gone, so it's giving me like the full time now. So I got tank area on, that's all I'm getting. Anyway, I think that that's us done for that stuff. So why don't we check war? All right, we won the last war. This one was actually looking kind of good. Um, yeah, it's looking good. The other one was got kind of close because they were really trying, but we ended up winning. All right, so what I'm going to do is, okay, our combo. We have dragon, we have magic, and we have nature. So let me just find somebody. This is the B team we're talking about here now. Yeah, that's just kind of ugly right there. Um, I'd rather not do that one. Just saying. That one looks really fast. Not for the first combo, that's for sure. Oh, what do we have over here? Well, there's nine left there. 
And speed isn't a problem. Of course, the uh, Shade Moon is a problem. Let me just see. I don't even remember who I had in for my second team. See, I got, I'm using group, group stuff here, and that's going to be a big problem. Shade Moon is a bit of a problem with that. I could nullify the other two. All right, I'm going to try this, and we'll see how this works out. It probably isn't going to work out, but, you know, the Shade Moon's got, like, um, an 8-speed on him, and he doesn't have any damage on him, so... All right, let's see how it works out. All right, obviously I'm going for the Freezing here, and I'm not going to get the Shade Moon at least. The Fatigue's going to be difficult because he's uh, tough. Okay, but I got him. I really like Bagel's aim. He's got, he's got good stuff going with that. Okay, and you are... He, okay, he's completely evading down there, though, so there's nothing I can do about that. Um, let me think. Unless, of course, I was to remove positive status effects from all enemies, in which case, uh, yeah. Did he miss him? I mean, he should have been able to remove those, right? That's kind of strange. All right. Yeah, that, that's really kind of strange right there. All right, let's do some damage here. Um, I'm thinking that that is going to be uh, Kihaku dead since he's got the... Dr okay, guard down. All right. Okay, uh, you are no longer... Um, you're no longer evading. Okay, that one is dead. Alright, what do you got here? Essence Steel. Um, I really would like to get rid of you up here because... Pinwheel Cut. I think a random torture effect's probably a better idea with that amount of health. Oh, wow, that was awesome! Okay. Um, can we freeze you? Okay, very good, very good. You see, the, uh, the Leprechaun is always avoiding that way, right? Okay, Hypnotic Tails. Going for the damage here now. Okay, you're charging. And you're doing a Major Essence Steal? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll let the Leprechaun finish him off. And a Night of Fun. Oh, why did he miss him? No, he shouldn't have missed him. He doesn't have that going anymore. All right. Um. Oh, you're evading. Okay, in that case, I'm just going to charge all right, and I'm going to charge. The leprechaun is in danger, unfortunately. Charging. Okay, that's good because he didn't have any stamina. All right, can we just get you frozen again? Okay, and uh, some fun dungeons. Removes positive status effects from all enemies. Oh, it was a group attack. That's the reason it didn't work. Right, right, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, it was a group attack. So if it was a single attack and I was taking away positive status effects, that would have worked. But he was dodging uh, group attacks. All right. Okay, that worked out pretty well. So I think my second team is a little bit better. What do we have over here? I mean, there's 12 there. So let's uh, go. Let's figure. I don't remember who I put in. I do remember it was a better team. And I think I was using Kihaku. All right, now let's see. Magic. I'm pretty sure that I was using my own Shade Mood. All right, and over here, this is probably Prince Charmless. All right, let's take a look and see if we have a problem. I don't think so. I mean, I could go with the freeze. I got the freezing and the possession, right? As long as uh, everybody gets at least one of them, I should be all right. All right, and this. Okay, everybody got all of them. That worked out very well. Okay, and Essence of Clumsiness. Good, and then we're just going to do Concussion Bomb. A whole lot of stunning going on. Ripe for the plunder. All right, let's see. Um, let's get the freezing dude out of here. And then let's do this. Now, I don't need to debuff her because apparently she really doesn't like magic. I, I should say nature. She doesn't like nature. Actually, at that point, I'm pretty sure she's dead, so... 
You are now weak. Okay, what has she got? She's got the poison on her. Is there anything else? She's got poison. I'll come back. I'll come back just to make sure. Um, but I do want to make sure I get rid of him. All right, how are we doing? I got plenty of stamina. All right, and I'll just hit her with this. She's dead. Hit him with this. Okay, that worked out pretty darn well. And we, are, we seem to be have a nice lead here, so that will actually be four out of the last five. We lost one. The team was just way too much for us. So we're going to a good clip here. We're on a good clip. So, um, yeah, I think we're done. Okay, so why don't we go into PvP? All right, so I got some teams here today. I'm starting to let that value go up again. You can see I have an actual team in there now, and somebody was foolish enough to attack it. What were you thinking? Really? Look at the numbers. What were you thinking? Why did you attack me? You're fools. All right, let's go. Let's go in here. And, of course, I was using this for uh, general mayhem. Anyway, let's get going. Our first team today was suggested by Pretty Face 123. And Pretty Face 123 actually wanted to see, yeah, Nova. Nova was the first one. Yeah, unfortunately, a lot of people ask for Nova. So, yeah, only one of you gets him. Just keep that in mind, you know. Just one of you gets him. All right, and the next individual was uh, Zap. And finally, we're going over to Nature. And we're going to grab... Bowser! All right, so let's see what we have here. Obviously, Nova gives us a huge advantage. And we do have damage with Zap. Uh, not as good as Xyla, of course, but, you know, he'll, he'll try his best. And, of course, he'll miss a lot. Uh, maybe we can help him with that. Uh, obviously, with the Voltec, I have no interest in what's up the middle. Nope, nope, none at all. None. Um, we don't really have Denial on the left. I guess it depends on him how much... Uh, you know what, why don't we just do a refresh? Alright, so what... Okay, up the middle... Eh. I mean, we could try the one on the right. It really depends. I mean, with a 115... I mean, nobody's really fast. So let's see if that's going to be a problem. If it is, if he goes first, we're in a lot of trouble. Oh, that's a big problem! Oh, actually, it's not. Wow, that extra one means a lot, doesn't it? It's a good thing there's no support here. If you're gonna put, if you're, if you're gonna put tens on him, you gotta put another one on him, right? You have to put another speed on him because otherwise, you look and look, Nova, and he's got just one ten. You, you've got two tens, and you're way behind. So no, absolutely not. See, I don't even have any support speed for him. He's got it all to himself. If you just put something else onto there, I mean, you're, you're five levels higher. And I'm about to shut you down. All right. Sunburn and, uh, of course, activating cooldowns. And now you all die. Um, oh, you're water, so you're easy to kill, right? Uh, so, actually, you are easy to kill, so I'm going after the more dangerous target here, right? And we're back here, and I think two of you are dead now. Okay, and then there was Mechamancer. But not for long. Bowser's not going to get a chance to do anything. But he looks cool with that hammer. Okay, and let's go. Uh... Um... Uh, Hello? Okay. Ooh! I welcome our new insect overlord. Okay, so let's see, and let's go into time team number two. Team number two was suggested by Extreme Gamer. An Extreme Gamer wanted to see... Uh, we're going to start with... Simon, and then we're going to go to somebody who just had success in the war, and that is Kami, and somebody else who's also decent at control, differently to a degree, and we have Fido. All right, um, 
Well, obviously, Kihaku's going first. I, I guess he is. I mean, the thing about it is he's 110. Fido's 110, but I think Kihaku's got it in terms of the runes. All right, so I'm guessing we're going to be doing freezing and possession and then lots of killing. All right, freezing and possession. Possession doesn't really work too well on vault so I'd like to avoid that. We kick up the middle, up the middle. I mean, we got two denials and one damage dealer, and the damage dealer is okay, but we do have two denials, right? All right, we'll try up the middle. And no speed whatsoever, but they, they are kind of meaty. And Thor is going to give them a shield there. I shouldn't say Thor. I should say him. My guy is Thor. All right, so that is going to be a bit of a problem there. All right, let me see about this. Okay, you're immune to fire, you're immune to fire. You, you're, are you tough? No, you're, you're hardened. Okay. Um, this is what I'm thinking. What I might do is I might have him remove positive status effects because I want those shields gone. And then I'm going to have, um, I'm going to have Fido there do the possessions um, because it's kind of redundant if they both try to do the same things. And I do want those shields gone. Um... Did I miss something? All right, I know it's a cast, a status cast, but I mean, it should have removed it, shouldn't it? Okay, I don't understand that. All right, um, yeah, this is really a pain because I wanted, I wanted the, um, I wanted the shields gone, you know, because they have a lot of health to start with. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Yes, kill him. Okay, now freeze your guys, please. Oh, that worked out wonderfully. Uh, well, for him. I, that guy in the front, is he? what does he have on him? He's got the freeze. Okay, so he doesn't have a dot on him. All right, let's think about this. Um, the thing about it is that, um, that I freeze two of them. Or I can't freeze him. It's a good question. What am I going to do here? I'm thinking at the moment, he's going to go again anyway, so why don't I do this? All right, let's think. Um, blind target. I don't want him freezing us. Actually, he tried to freeze his own guys, didn't he? So he didn't have that anymore. All right. Um, well, you know what? I got nothing to lose with this one, so... Okay, and I got a freeze down on Inquisitor that Fulman down here. Okay, oh that's oh geek give double damage no that one there. Um Is he is he still he got immunity possession? Yeah he does. It's kind of a waste to do that now, so I'm not going to. Alright, let me think about this. Yeah, I think we're gonna do that. Okay, that was all kinds of pathetic. Just saying. Here, have some damage. And, um... Join us! Okay, and... Uh, I'm not gonna freeze him now. No reason to, right? Alright, why don't we just, uh... You're, or, yeah, let's a little bit towards death there. Push him a little bit towards death. And then take him all the way now with the Corrupt Laceration. Okay, that worked out pretty well. Uh, hello? Hopefully your regime is going to be good and plentiful. Okay, that's the second time I've gotten that. Um, is it interesting that you're giving me Pandolf variants? Interesting. Well, he's, he's trying to be friendly, I suppose. Okay. All right, so let's go with uh, team number three. Team number three today was suggested by Nemesis Slayer. And Nemesis Slayer wanted to see an interesting combo here. We've seen it before, but it is an interesting combo because we're going to be starting with Simba. And next, we actually saw the individual who's going in next. And that, of course, is going to be Scar. Yeah, I, gotta, I think I have an extra slide open there that i got to do something about. I forgot about him. However, I did not forget about our last individual today. 
And the last individual for this team, I should say, is over in fire. And of course, this is going to be Pepe. And of course, I did give him another six damage there. Um, so there is a uh, thought that maybe I want to do something with a Turner, right? An extra Turner. So let's just see what we can do here. I don't see any extra Turners here. Well, I do see one. I see the Nautilus. Do I want to do that, though? Eh, not really. Let's just see if we can find an extra Turner. I'm not seeing it. Not seeing it. One last time. Okay, where were the Voltex when you want them, right? Okay, well, let's pick one of these and see what we can do. All right, we're, we don't really have Denial. We have um, Simba's going to let somebody go first. That's what we have. So, let's see. I think it may be up the middle. All right, let's do that. All right, okay. He's got a lot of health. That could end up being a problem. All right. Because after all, he's, he has the ability to resurrect. Charge with me. Well, obviously... Okay, so if I did this, it's going to do pretty good damage, but it's going to give sunburn and burn, which is really what I want, right? And they all got it. Okay, he took his stamina away. Okay, he's dead. Okay, disabling traits. Okay, all glory to El Capo. Okay, unfortunately, he doesn't have that uh, thing anymore. But that is going to be pretty damaging right there. Oh, and applies possession, ignite, and sunburn. All right, so they're going to get possession, except, of course, for the Undertaker, who is immune to it, right? And I really need to do, I really need to get rid of him or stun him or something like that, because otherwise he's going to get the other guy back. All right, let me think. Uh, can I, does he have a stun? Yeah, it's applying possession. No, I don't think he does. All right, damage boost. That will kill him. Excellent. All right, and let's see. Battle Tiger. Um, let's get a stun on you. Because you're going to die anyway, right? And here, just shield us for fun. Because let's face it, you're dead. Boom. All right. Um, nice working with you so far. I am curious what happened to the other... Okay. It was good working with you. All right, I'm sure that was a mistake. But I was curious what he did with the, uh, the Pandolf. Hmm. I probably don't want to know. Where was this encounter when I needed it? I wanted the extra turner. Oh, well. Okay, so now I have our fourth and final team for today. Our fourth and final team was suggested by I'm Gaming YT. And by the way, it's it could be I M because it's like capital letters or something like that. Because it's all capital letters, though. So I'm just gonna say I'm Gaming YT. And of course, the YT is probably for YouTube. And I'm wanted to see. We're going over to nature, and we're gonna grab. Okay, he's actually busy at the moment, isn't he? So I need to do something about that. All right, um, let's just uh, put uh, him in there for now. That's, that's suitable, I think. Uh, because our first individual is, of course, over in nature, and that is Inigo. Next up, we have somebody over in metal, and that is going to be Fernando. And finally, we have Dave. You know, I was just thinking, I wish we could mark favorites. So they would always go to the top of a list or something like that because I would do it with just one creature, and that's Dave because he's such a pain to go looking for since he doesn't have an element, right? And they don't let us search for the like the book, the book uh, qualifications too. So that would be interesting, you know. All you'd have to give me was spirits, and I could look for them easily then. All right, so let's see what we're going to be doing here. All right, well obviously we're going to be doing cooldown resets, which means that uh, that's okay. We can do a lot with that. I'd like to get some levels here if I could. Uh, team. Well, the team on the uh, the left looks interesting, but there's no real pure denial there. I mean, he can stun, but yeah, not really. Let's just see if we can find something really interesting. Well, I think the team on the left is a little too interesting, actually. Let me think about that. Well, I have some strong guys, though. 
Ooh, really hard. Okay, so why don't we just try that one? It might be certain. Oh, 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 oh. I do have at least one attack waiting for me. I probably have two now. Uh, grab that, grab that, and I'm just going to grab both of them. And I'm going to grab those two. Which reminds me, in the maze, I did get all the way down to that gold ruin at the last moment, just before going to bed. And it was the, you know, the gold one, the gold chest. And um, I wanted this. And look what, you, look what I got. Look what I got. So I'm going to have to find somebody really interesting to put that on. Because I can't wait to level that one up. All right, let's go back over here. All right, and let's uh, do this one. Okay, uh, the creatures are horrifying and deadly. The runes do not suit them. Right, so we're going to be going first here. All right, and then we're going to do Endemic Pathogen to activate some cooldowns. All right, now the killing begins, right? Who do I kill first? It looks like I can get rid of uh, Alex here pretty quickly because uh, he's... Okay, boom, he's dead. Do I need that one? No, I don't. I can end with the second one. All right. Hat throw. Okay, I need to start getting rid of him. The other guy's dangerous, but this guy's dangerous too, right? All right, and make you weak. All right, and entangle, and he's dead. Okay, and then the big one over here. And I don't think I don't think Dave's going to get a chance to do anything. How much stamina does he have? He's got enough. Boom, done. Dave's just standing there looking awesome, as he usually does. Okay, uh, I'm sure that last one was a mistake. Um, I, I bid you welcome from... What have you done with Pandolf? I'm beginning to think I want him back. Well, I'll have to see. I guess I'm stuck with you for a week, ain't I? All right, all right. All right, and that's us done. All right, so we got a race going. Get in there, participate, help your team. Check to see if they have any of those... You know, 15 players must do this simple thing and push it along. Kind of very useful. And you got the end of the breeding event if you want to go. Hey, I got lucky. That's 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 what I wanted. It was one of two in the event who I didn't have. I did make a try for the other one, but, you know, it didn't work out. But, you know, I'm not complaining. I got one of them. I was concerned it might be one of the parents. I wouldn't have minded another egg eater. I would have minded another Lord Maltus. That one, I wouldn't have minded. Uh, I think, the, who's the other one in there? Oh, the Menelisha. I wouldn't have minded another one of her, too. But basically, I got what I most wanted. When I saw Legendary, I'm thinking, I'm hoping that's a tank Arion. I have him now. Anyway, you're probably going to see a video for him before the other guy, right? Anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. So thank you very much for your attention. I really appreciate it. And play games, because games are fun. See you.